Um, so again, that makes it work as a good course setting for speed, but then again, this only allows even multiples of 20 milliseconds or 1 50th of a second, which might not match the beats per minute that you had in mind. So simply set this to some low value, the default value is F06. And why I, I could just as well have set this to F06 and modified this accordingly to go faster, but well, let's see, no, to go slower than to have a lower value, surely. Yeah, so um, I could calculate that and set this to F06 and demonstrate this, but I think you get the principle. And for this number of steps per note, uh, this is then the tempo. So together these values set the beats per minute of, uh, of your module. So this pattern is the intro. This is the build up for two patterns that I hope to var vary. And I want to add something to the intro as well as this. Let's bind them together. I want to try to move that to the other channel. Sounds better. Um, what else? Well, I will, well actually, I will try to edit one of the samples here. Um, Detune, there you are. I was trying to edit this, but I think there's some kind of bug here uh, that prevents me from, prevents the loop positions from moving when I, when I cut something from the beginning here. So, I'm going to exit between each edit, and as you can tell, I'm completely superstitious about these things. So that fucked it up, but we can still set this to 4074. And that should then be uh, 160. And 4074, so we should set the repeat start first. Much better. That's that. That's just ju that's just bad software. I don't know why the the bug is there. Um. So anyway, I wanted to uh, go uh, volume and ramp in like that, and that should make this pattern. And of course, you have to you have to make sure the tracker plays these F commands to set the correct tempo. Okay, so we've done a bit of surgery there. Let's save it real quick. Yeah, please. Okay, so we just saved uh, a little bit on uh, on the t on the tune size here. Um, so next what I want to do is, um, I think I will add a string. Quickly, I'm just going to check. No, <laughs> it's, Im it's impossible. I'll just have to live with that for the rest of my life. All right, so um, what I did was I ditched the idea of a string sample, uh, or at least temporarily, or I will use it in conjunction with a nice sample that I found on STO3, Deutschmark, which has now become Deutschmark, because I've um, faded the first part in, the D part of the sample, um, and you can barely hear it now, because I've set it to volume 
one for a very special special reason also I cut off the end uh, of the sample which seems to seem to have some other uh, disturbing sound at the end so uh, so that it repeats every six notes of this beat um, so this is what it sounds like now then All right, so um, what I did was to make this this psychedelic intro uh, was I I um, set the volume first of first of all to one to be able to set the F command in the first track where I had it originally, but I can just as well up that now and um, use the C command to set. Uh, I'm, to I'm totally terrible at this toggle thing. I'm just lo not looking at the cursor, I think. So, um, start with, with a very low volume and then use the EA command for fine volume slide up and down. I use both. Uh, and I don't even fine slide it every step. I do it every other step because otherwise it would increase too quickly even then and if you why don't I use the a10 command or a50 command well it, it just goes too fast for for because the um, a command uh, increases by that many volume steps each frame or each speed step of the song so that before this note has reached this the next step it will have increased if I type a20 then it will have increased that by um, actually 8 times 2 uh, at least uh, that's according to my information so ie uh, 9 minus 1 if you had f06 it would be 6 minus 1 times the the a a value so I use fine slide up for the volume and to make this work for an entire pattern we need to start the tell the tracker which sample to start here sample number six voice mark and then omit this uh, because otherwise it will reset the volume to whatever the sample is uh, has its volume set to so just uh, by deleting the instrument number here we re-trigger the same instrument at these uh, positions that I deemed um, and I did forget to why can't I make this work And uh, that should, and as you can see there, it reset the volume for me. Um, and right here is where I want to start fading out more slowly. So. So that's good, um, and now I will pause again to find that string sound. All right, so now what I've done is just randomly adding a sound that I liked, and and here's where the string should come in and fill. Who knows if I'm gonna keep any of these um, sounds. It's already starting to sound freaky. Um, an attention getter at the start, I guess. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken 
a string sound that it's something like what I want, but it sounds way too STO1. And what I did was um, do the intro with that. Something like that, uh, but with slides. So, and I want a vibrato. Um, and I'm going to show you something nice. Um, and then um, I'm going to go hunting for the proper string sound for, for this idea. So, so here's where we're at. Uh, I'm actually going to start a silent might even start it later might even remove the drums from this pattern let's uh, see how that sounds that might work for a uh, future edit uh, for now um, I'm gonna stay on the ball and um, well, first of all, um, this is has an attack on it. Might as well fix that. And you know what to do. There we go. Uh, this ensures that the sample doesn't start as a click as well. Um, Plus, I want to, I want it to max out at some point. For now, it's, it's, it's okay. And I want to start that sooner. And here I'm using Portamento upwards slow as possible may have to that's what I thought hmm it's still too fast what the hell Well, it's simply too soon. So there we go. Oops. I'm going to stick with the plan. And it's nice with a little bit of portamento overlap across pattern boundaries. So there we go. We might taper the volume out. Well, I'm going to leave it for now and concentrate. I will do this because I'm too lazy. Step patterns and here's where we s continue sliding. And um, if you want to try it out, you can And I don't know why that's not triggered. Am I completely mad and bonkers of all of that? Ah, because we have this, see? Here's where we're going to start 
increasing the vibrato and as I showed you before here's the vibrato command and I'm going to show you something namely that you should set E41 uh, or at least I'm going to uh, and I'm going to do it on the step before and then I'm going to use the vibrato command which is 4 uh, and I'm going to keep the speed constant and slow and I'm going to um, uh, increase the depth so that's the constant speed oops and here's the depth try that might be a little bit too slow huh I'm gonna try default some kind of default one here just to find my s my speed and stuff try that And that was too much depth, first of all. That might be a good value for the max depth. Actually, four might be a good one as well. Speed is a little bit fast. Go. Maybe I should remove this, huh? Yeah, okay, that messes things up. So forget what I said. I wanted a triangle. I'm, I'm sorry. S no, I wanted a tri triangle wave for the vibrato instead of a sine wave, which is not the correct way. Or it's, it's not a good way to, to do vibrato on a computer with a period value or frequency value which has a fairly low precision in at high frequencies instead what you want is you want a smooth increase and decrease instead of uh, sine wave aliasing so anyway I'm gonna try that anyway and So that's the speed for that, and that sounded okay. Maybe I should make it the same as the number, uh, as the F value. No, that's too fast. I'm gonna make it two thirds. Mm, still too fast, I think. I might go with some slide up and down values here. I know Uncle Tom did that and it worked for him, right? I'm going to I'm going to try this. Uh, what we want is a smooth increase of the um vibrato depth uh, and then keep it at that depth if that sounds good so I'm gonna try that stay on that stay on the ball until 28 here well I wasn't 28 okay 
at which point we should slide down to this note. Number two, remove. I realize I, well, okay. And continue on across the boundary. And yeah, I forgot. Um, I should re-trigger this at this node and then slide it back up to the original node like that. What the hell? What are you doing to me? Seems it's looking ahead or something. What the? No, it's not. Why are you dropping, you? Why are you dropping? Because I have not set the destination. And we need to do this faster, so we should not want to... And likewise at position 56. Just re-trigger and re-trigger and slide. And here we have a few more notes to do it in, so. So, a little bit late, I think. And as you can hear, the string sound is totally overpowering everything else. So we might need to do that. And in this case, we should not do that. And of course, if you want, you can you can span these along here as long as you just re-trigger them. <coughs> So that means we need to make it make the volume uh, fade in a bit slower. Might even have to edit that out. So anyway, um, when we reach hex ten, 
in volume, we should replace these with C10 to keep the volume where we'd like it. Of course, I could I could change the volume of the of the sample instead. That would save me a bit of commandophobia. And of course, we need to duplicate this and fade out the volume for the uh, for when we uh, we're adding the uh, some actual melody to this. It's already melodic, but there will be more. So I will pause once again to find the perfect string sound. I may have to go into the other uh, soundtracker discs to find it. All right, so I found this uh, synth gong uh, that I found a perfect loop in, and uh, that's what it sounds like. And uh, we're going to keep this uh, r repeat length close to our heart because we're going to keep it in memory. We're going to keep it inside our brains uh, because. Uh, we want to remember this. We want to want to keep this. We want to show this range. We want to get it as close as we can to the um, end point of the loop. Cut out a bare minimum. Ten, nine, eighteen, around. So that minus that becomes the repeat start point. Uh, when we uh, show all, no, no, no dirty thoughts. Um, and then we want to remove this phase, Gina Sisters type phase sound at the start because otherwise we can't use it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I almost went American Angle there again. I need to. Do we want. We want a quick fade in of this, or do? Well, we do, but a very, very short one. So if I cut this, I need to make sure the replan ends at the end and starts ten nine eighteen bytes earlier. So cut that off. Uh, ten nine eighteen. Ten nine eighteen. Come on. Oops, that's not correct. We need to make it slightly smaller. 10, 9, 18, right? And we're going to decrease this and increase this. And that should give us our sound. I hate you! Okay, we got it back. Uh, for some reason there, there wasn't a perfect match at the end. But anyway, uh, we're gonna show this range. Gonna fade it in nice and quickly. You know what to do. And show all. Yeah. There's a click somewhere, or it's just extra audible in Win UAE. There might be a click here actually. There's something here. Seems to set this. Let's see if we can fix this after I save the module because I've made some changes. Save module. Yes, please. And now let's try to continue this waveform waveforms upwards slope right here. 
and I'll get that and then you can see a slight slight change oh it's very slight so I'll try to match heights here cut out the fog in between cut I still no good I hate you cut I hate you cut and it's just gotten worse and worse so disk out load the module again go to sample 10 might have been just in my mind okay good we have a string uh, from a gong sound and uh, well let's listen to it Well, it's a bit muffled, isn't it? So I'm thinking I could upsample this uh, sound and hopefully match the loop again. And also maybe boost it. So uh, save this. And actually I noticed some things, namely that this does not reach C10 in time, so we're gonna we're going to do that at the end of the volume slide and let's see oh yeah Okay, so save this, why don't I follow my own advice and don't overwrite my module there, versionitis, that's my second name. So anyway, uh, we wanted to... Um, boost this and let's see how that sounds should add we should that start bit in okay although not as exaggerated as before but tempered a tad so it still didn't sound good so I uh, may have to redo this edit because I'm trying to boost this again. To see if we can improve the sample without Um, 
I think it sounded better. Still one octave too low, I think, but let's go to sampler. And boost it some more. I think that's the maximum my ears can endure. Save this as version C, right? Uh, save module, yes. And I'm gonna go crazy with this boost thingy. Now, it boosted the sample so badly that uh, you can tell there are artifacts. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just test it out for the to see how the mix sounds. I had but it well it totally destroys the idea of the vibrato uh, and it also destroys the idea of the clean uh, synth string that I was looking for so scratch that load module the, ver the B version let's go to sampler let's go to our sample um, here's the loop value, so half of that should be 5,400 and nine. What? 5,459. My. I may not. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, where's up sample? Up sample. Up sample, yes. 5458, close enough. Yeah, you can have uh, odd uh, loop lengths or sample lengths because the um, DMA bus is 16 bits wide and <laughs> each byte is 8 bits, as you may know. This may actually sound totally crap. Just my luck. Well, I hope you, I hope I've showed you some stuff here that will have to do um, for my, uh, for the concept, well, for the idea for the synth sound anyway. Um, it's still a little bit muffled and a little bit of a Kermit thing, falsetto thing going on, going on with the synth sound. But I think it shows uh, where I'm trying to go and see you in the continuation of this tutorial. Bye bye.